Hey guys, it's Carolina here from Carolina's Crafts and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be making some cards. Now this is like a nationwide kind of crafting thing and it's basically you're crafting cards and they're going out to kids in foster homes. So I found about this through Barely Arts. If you go to their website on barely.art, uh, barely you will see Cards for Cubs. That's the hashtag. You could also look up that hashtag on Instagram, see what cards people are made, making. So it was till March 30th, but because of um, the coronavirus and everything, they have extended it to April 30th. So you, can, you have all this crafty time and you can mail in your cards. So you're just making cards for kids in foster homes to let them know that they are loved, to help them feel that they are cared for, and everything and they have a mailing address right here so I'm going to be making a couple of cards for them today they have they have also sent me their glue and I'm so excited to try this out this is from the barely arts uh, company so I've been seeing a few people have been using this and um, I'm excited to try it out because I do have a lot of like little bits and pieces to glue down today and isn't this cute guys look you have the precision craft glue then you have the refill bottle and it's in the shape of a bear how adorable and they also send you the precision kind of pieces so you have like that needle that goes in the top um, to keep it fresh um, I just got to figure out how to put this together and then we will use um, our new glue so I'm excited especially now that we're all gonna be you know home or a lot of us at least we got lots of crafty time I know for me I'll be doing online teaching and teaching from home um, I still have to be online during the times I would be at work but it takes out my three-hour commute per day so I have an extra three hours a day to craft which is gonna be so nice isn't this such a nice cause though guys like cards for kids in foster homes to let them know they're appreciated like that is just like we all need to be doing that okay I'm not sure how to put this um, on I think this goes like this and maybe this goes in here is there instructions oh there is oh this is the ultra fine tip. Do I need the ultra fine? I think I'll be okay with just the fine tip. So let's put this tip on. And then this is just the storage tip. So you take everything else off um, if you're storing it for a longer period of time. So thank you so much Barely Art for sending me this. I know I'm going to love it. And guys, let's get crafting because I got lots to do here I got cards to make we're gonna be making some mermaid cards and we're going to be making um, some unicorn unicorn cards um, so let me figure out where my bases are I think I'll make um my unicorns first this seems easier and I'm just gonna kind of do I guess maybe like a little process I mean I could do some of this with you guys um, and then yeah Okay, so I could do some with you guys. All right, so here's, ooh, don't squeeze too hard. Pro tip. I like this tip. I have another glue where it's like a super fine tip and I can use the super fine tip, but I actually have been needing um, a thicker tip lately. So that's actually really nice. Cause like bigger pieces like this, you don't wanna be sitting there trying to glue with like a super fine tip you know what I mean and that sticks down really well in the future I'm also going to be having a little giveaway um, for you guys with the glue that'll be in a separate video not in this one I really just wanted to do these cards with you guys today to let you guys know about the cards for cubs and if you are um, going to send in some cards on their website, they have like a little survey that you fill out um, because if you don't have time to make cards, you could just make little messages that could go on a card and they'll even make a card for you and put your message on the card. So it just depends on what you have time for. There's many different options. If you're in crafty groups, maybe you guys can all make a card. 
Um, so they have a little survey and they ask how many cards you're going to be sending in. Um, so I'm super excited to add mine to the bunch. I don't think I cut this right. But we're going to make it work. Looks like it's a little too short right there, but that's okay. It'll be fine. We cut off that bottom anyway. Okay, so I'm really liking this glue. It sticks down fast and it looks strong. Nice strong glue. Then I have um, my other base pieces here, which are the colored pieces. I have a green and I have a pink. Wait, it goes this way. And I also have an inside piece, this I print and cut. So the inside will say, is this too big? Why, am, why are all my pieces off? I know I resized it, but I didn't think I made it that bad. This might have been, I don't, I don't even know. But I mean, it fits. It's just like the full card right there, but that's okay. And this just says you're amazing just the way you are. So I had print that, you know, some little inspiration for the kids. Okay, so let's stick some glue on here. I'm really loving this tip, guys. I honestly have been looking for a tip like this because I, you, I can't even tell you guys, I was literally looking for it like yesterday. This would have been handy yesterday, but I know it's gonna be very handy for all my future crafty projects as well. Why can't I glue things straight today? Definitely gotta work fast. It gets stuck down there real fast, guys. Which is good, because we don't want things to move around. See, like this has like that layered look that I like. I guess the inside doesn't. I don't know. I haven't made this card in a long time. Maybe I'm just going crazy thinking it did, but it doesn't. Oops, I forgot some glue right here. I need some love. Look how fast that stuck down. Okay, I'm impressed. I'm really liking this glue. Okay, then we have a little nose. Let's take out two little noses. I have like a lot of these pre-cut already because I just make these cards all the time. <laughs> so I have some pieces that I had cut out already. I think this nose is a little too big. Uh, not too big, because I, I did resize this just a little bit. But actually that looks fine. And then you got this one. Okay, so here I need these little, two little black dots. Okay, and then I need the little eyelashes. We might need the precision glue, I mean the precision tip for these. Little eyelashes. All right, I might have to switch. But let me see, I might be able to, no, I feel like I need to switch. And we'll wash both of my tips afterwards. But I like that. Look how easy this is to switch. Put that down. Ta-da. Switched. How easy is that? Because it doesn't have to go through the whole bottom. That's so nice. They thought of everything with this glue. I think I'm in love. In love with a new glue. But for real though, I recently saw a post um, on Facebook where people were looking for a new kind of glue. And I was like, oh, you should try out this company. And I mentioned um, Barely Arts. Because I know they're good without me even using them just because I've seen other people's videos. And I was just excited to try it. So, like, look at this. Look how great this is. Okay, which way do my eyelashes go? Do they go this way? Or do they go this way? 
I don't know. Which way do eyelashes go? I almost feel like this way she kind of looks more cheery. So, um, but I feel like eyelashes go back so it should go like this. But I think I like the other way because it just looks more cheery. Nah, we'll go the regular way. Alright, so look, I'm using my little precision tip. Look how great that is. Got it all on there already and it's going to stick so perfectly. Hope I'm sticking it in the right spot. And that looks good. I still don't know if I stuck it down right. I always get confused. I can never remember which way the eyelashes go. Look how detailed these little pieces are. And they're working out great for my project with this glue. Fantastic. Then I have the little unicorn head, or not unicorn head, the you know, unicorn actual part. So I cut it out, but I cut it out on gold wrapping paper. Um, so it's super thin. I'm gonna put some glue on here and then I'm gonna stick it down. And then I just have painter's tape on here so that I can make sure to get it stuck down properly. So I'm just putting glue on all that. This will just give me some precision. You know what I mean? Just gotta get this piece down first. I think my paint, my painter's tape is still a little too strong, but I see it like, like pulling off the paper, which means it was already like stuck down pretty well. Oh, this one took off my top. Hold on. We got to get that top off and glue him on. I think we did pretty good with sticking that on. Pretty good. That card is almost done. It just needs to go onto a base. Um, hold on, I'll switch back to my other tip in a second. Um, let me just get the other unicorn top on here. Look at that, guys. This one's coming off so much better. <gasps> Look. Oh, except for that last one. But that was all working out so good, coming off of my tape so nicely. Look, guys. Done. And I got, like, that nice foiling effect with some gold wrapping paper. Literally, guys, this is wrapping paper. It's thin, but it does the job. Look at this nice card. I might want to decorate with some stickers. I have like these unicorn stickers I purchased from Tuesday morning. Let me see. What do I want on here? Ooh, I think I might like the word magical. Might be a little too big, but let me see. Do I like it? Or do I want this one that says fabulous? Oh, I think I like the fabulous better. So we'll put that right here. Nice little chipboard piece. And we'll put this magical back. I think the magical is just a little too big. All right, so that's one card. And then let's finish this one, guys. Um, so I'm going to switch back to the other tip. Isn't this great? Look how fast. Seriously, so impressed. I didn't think it was going to be that easy peasy, but this is doing great. All right, so we have the base that goes on the inside. Yeah, I definitely did something wrong here when I was cutting this out. 
Normally this works fine, but definitely did something wrong this time. I may have actually re forgotten to resize this piece when I resized everything else. That might have been what I did wrong. And then you have this piece that we could just stick down. So if you guys are looking for a new glue that's not as pricey as art glitter glue and more accessible because um, Amazon has been out of that glue for quite some time now. So if you guys want something better and cheaper, here is a good, great glue. All right, so I have that. And then for this one, I wanted to use um, either this sticker that says follow your inner sparkle, but I think that's too big. So then this one that says dream like a unicorn. How cute, but it needs a white base. So let me get a white base. I have, oh, do I want white? Or maybe I want a different color. Hold on. Ooh, how about this light pink? Okay, that looks nice. So we'll put that here and we're gonna cut out around this. I might have to do my mermaid cards not in a video <laughs> or in a separate video only because this video is getting a little long already and all I did was make two cards. So maybe I'll do the other one um, not in a video. But I really, my main point for this video was to tell you guys about um, this crafting. Um, but my main point about this video was to tell you guys about Cards for Cubs and how you can also be a part and how you could send in some cards because they're gonna get um, sent out to or given to kids in foster homes. And I teach some kids that are, you know, are in foster care. So I think it's so important. I'm all for this cause. Somebody actually commented on one of my Instagram posts and said that um, they, I don't know if they said they were in a foster home or um, they've been to ones and they see that the kids honestly like cherish the cards that they're given. This is apparently like a national crafting thing and it's like the first time I'm hearing about it, but I want to make sure to do it every year now because this is just like really important to me. So I'm all for this cause. And I really wanted to make them like unique folding cards like these, like ones in a shape. Cause they're not cards that you would find, you know, in a store. They're not just regular folding cards. And I mean, a lot of cards that are handmade, you, would, you wouldn't find in a store. So I fussy cut that. My new little precision scissors are fa also fantastic. Just recently got those. Look, that's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna pop it up on some foam. All right, I have some foam squares. And this is gonna go down here. It is as dream like a unicorn. How adorable. All right guys, so those are the two cards that we made. Again, if you guys wanna be part, I will have a link down below to um, Barely Arts website and all the information that they have for Cards for Cubs. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also check out um, Barely Arts Glue. It's honestly amazing. I'm very impressed. Um, so that's a nice alternate. Like look, this won't even move anymore. <laughs> How amazing. And I put that on foam. Normally foam takes a long time um, to stick down with regular glue. I normally use hot glue, but I just didn't have my hot glue on. 
Um, okay, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys are part and join the Cards for Cubs cause. And um, I'll see you guys in my next crafty video. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.